Today, we're excited to talk about how to bring data to life through infographics in Adobe Express for Education. Should we put our thinking caps on? I think we need to put on our thinking caps. Whoa, hello, and everybody. Right from the home screen, in the search box at the very top, I'm just gonna type in the word infographic. You'll see it says templates. So I'll click on view all. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm taking my text yep. and I'm gonna say, this is my solar system. So up on the top menu bar, we have background color, kind of a space color, maybe like a blue. You get a customized. I customize. I'm gonna make this my own. I'm just yeah. going through here and taking all these shapes out. I'm okay. gonna hold the shift button down. Oh, time. okay. And I'm gonna go through and click on this text and this text box and this text box and this one and this last one here. And what I'll do is I'll click on the color here and I'm gonna instantly change all those to white. Nice. So what I'm doing is just going through and taking these out. This is another little tip right here. As I hold the option button down and then I click away, I've just created a duplicate yeah. of that text right there. Okay, that's cool. An infographic is not using a lot of text, but sparingly. So we're gonna add like a, a fact about Mercury here. We're gonna uncheck that so now it's not bold. Okay. It is the, the smallest, smallest planet. We're gonna go down to elements. We're just gonna type in here. Mercury. Icons allows me a little more creative control in how I can customize it. So I'm going to click on view all. I'm going to go with this one right here. So there's tiny Mercury. Give that kind of like a kind of a tan. I'm going to stretch this out and check this out. It's off screen. What I'll do is just drag it in. Not for long. And I'm just going to resize it. Yep. There we go. Tarkin. Second planet. Venus. Venus. If you can see as I'm building this infographic one by one for our time, what mm -hmm. we're going to do is I'll do a little fast forward. And here was my completed one right there. Oh, look at that. Look at we're going to shift over some to different types of data. Yeah. Scroll through this section here. There it is. Ruby's day in data. So we're going to take this one and what we're going to do is going to recreate this. Let's imagine how a classroom of students spends their 24 hours in a day. Room four's day in day. I, yep. I just have a hard time saying that. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Look at that on the left-hand side. I love it. Which is basically a graph, is a table that's already in Adobe Express. So this is a donut chart. So for music, in a class of 30 students, 73 hours of music. 198 hours. 198, and in meals, how much time do they spend eating? Okay, what, 41. 41. <laughs> 41. <laughs> Sports or soccer practice. Oh, 60 hours. 60 hours, so where it says soccer practice, we're gonna- Do a quick sport. edit. Yeah, quick edit and put sports. We're talking about sleeping Sleep. now. 212, I think 212. is what we got 212. to. 212. Yep, playtime. Playtime, so 68 hours of playtime. So I'm gonna go here and just say play. Yep. 68 hours yeah. with friends. Yeah. So look at, boom and it shifted the, it. the graph right there. And then these are icons that you can basically click on and move them. It's a beautiful way to visually represent data here. Say, would you like a piece of pie? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of pie, we're going to create a math infographic okay. all about pie day. Again, we're gonna go into the infographics here. This is, oh, love I love this, love how that one just yep. pops right there. We're gonna go here and customize this. And so speaking of Hi, this has nothing to do with pie right there. So boom, I'm gonna go ahead and delete. Bye bye, here. it's gone. And I'm gonna go to the design elements. And this, since we're talking about pie day, I'm gonna type the word pie. All right. Look at this icons hey. right here at the bottom, <laughs> all the pie. The, this one is very, it's nice. Yeah, and, nice and bold. Nice and bold right there. Go ahead and delete that. And I'm gonna type in that it is an irrational number. And then maybe just one quick fun fact about pie. Goes on forever without repeating. Here we go, We're continuing on. You actually then can see quickly what you would need to edit in terms of changing yes. colors or elements to visually represent yeah. in a much more accessible way. And that's way. kind of so, how yeah. I got to where I am right I here. So that. how do we get them in the view of other folks? Yeah, okay, great question. So up here on the top, right, we have our little arrow pointing now. That is our download button. So we have different formats that you can download. PDF, if yeah. you're gonna print something, yep. download it as a PDF. And again, as you were saying, that you wanna decorate your bulletin board, sing your classes, these are all the different yeah. projects that your students have created and like really amplify their work, really share it and just show it out. And then you could even click on share yeah, and create a view only link. And let's say you wanted to share this out with your, your parents via like an email format. It's like, hey, click on this link to yeah. see your child's work. And here it is. And I can create a quick assignment, put this to Mr. Z's class right here. And I've now I've assigned this infographic that I've just created all these different ways to share these projects, exporting them, sharing them out. So this is pretty amazing. But I wanna say thank you everyone for joining us. We highly encourage you to explore Adobe Express for Education and start using all these features to create your own infographics.